Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to share a different type of video. I was sent this little caddy organizer. It's actually a diaper caddy, but you, you can use it for many, many things. And I wanted to put all of my favorite art supplies in it, so I thought I would share the organizer and my first impressions on it. But while I'm doing so, share some of my favorite things that I use all the time because I've been wanting to do this forever and I kept wanting to do it by year and then it would run out of time. So uh, I've been wanting to share some of my favorites, but it's very hard for me because when I receive new things, almost everything's my favorite. So I always feel like I need to wait six months to a year to know if it's really my favorite or if I just love it because it's new. And so many of these things I purchased 2019 or 2020 and yeah, they've run their course and I can really know if, um, I think Lindsay Frugal Crafter called it the honeymoon period. That is so real, especially with me. So I thought I would share some of those products and that might be helpful. And, but in true fashion of myself, I'm also going to share some of my regrets. Sometimes you uh, buy things and it's fun, but then, you know, they're not really the greatest. They don't work out for you. I'm going to kind of share some of that without me being too, without trying to be too negative, just because, uh, yeah, if you know me well, you know I can be, I'm very honest, but I can be a little overly honest. So if you have these products and love them, please don't be offended. I'm just sharing because I care and I want to save you guys money if I can. As I said, this was sent to me by Molly Ollie. It is called the Mimo Caddy. Uh, and so let me open this up. It comes really flat so you can open it up and I'm going to open it up and let's see what we think about it. So this is the Mimo Caddy. It is made out of felt and it is, uh, it says not to iron it, but you wouldn't need to because it's, uh, it's in perfect condition and it's made of, it is made in China. It says it's responsibly made in China. Um, it's developed in Singapore. I thought it was made by a mom. Anyway, this is the Mimo Caddy and this is made from a chemical free fabric, which is felt. I am one of those creators that loves creating in my room, but I really don't get a lot of time. Most of my time, I'm actually trying to move my stuff to the living room, wherever my family is, that's where I want to be. Do anything during the day, then I'm taking it and I'm doing it in front of the TV or at the kitchen table, or sometimes honestly in my bed if my husband wants to go in. My husband's 10 years older than me. So oftentimes he wants to go in at like, I don't know what his deal is now, but he's wanting to go in at like nine o'clock and watch TV in there. So I like bringing this in and I will color while he's watching um, sports or whatever he's into that day. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is going to be super, I think this is going to be super handy for me. So just opens up and then it's got these straps. It has, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and open it. Looks like you just push it down. It has some velcro dividers that you can just put in here so it looks like it just goes like this okay well that was easy peasy so it has pockets all along the sides which i love because i have many many things i want to put with me and i want to keep them organized it has some silicone packs i'm going to um i actually don't throw these away. I keep these because I put them in with my watercolors. Uh, the ones that have lots of honey. Since I'm in Florida, I keep those for that. So, to keep that. And, uh, yeah. So, it's all ready to load up. It has a zipper pocket on this side. All ready to unzip and load up. It's got some elastic bands here to put something. And then another velcro pocket right here so I'm gonna start with the zipper pocket first first put my little uh, this is a little Tagal pencil sharpener uh, so this is a portable pencil sharpener and this was actually sent to me when I ordered my Holbein color pencils from Amazon Japan 
and I didn't really know about it until then, but it has a little place you can open it on the back. I just emptied it, luckily, because it does get full fast. But other than that, I'm really enjoying this pencil sharpener and because it does have the space to keep the shavings, that is most of the time my go-to pencil sharpener currently. So I'm gonna put that there. And then my favorite eraser is currently a Faber-Castell. Again, I really like that it comes in the little case because I can keep it from getting any crumbs or anything like that on it. Uh, this is a new one I haven't used a whole bunch. My other ones do not look as pretty, but it's really handy, so that's gonna be the other one I put in this pocket. I'm gonna keep some scissors. These are just ordinary scissors and I haven't found any that knock my socks off, to be honest. Uh, another favorite of mine is this Mono Zero. It's a little bitty eraser. It's really good for adding highlights at the end because you can get in little nooks and crannies and you can uh, press this down to get more eraser out. So I really like that. So that's gonna go in one of these pockets. Also gonna keep some of these Micron pens. I actually do, I really like these, but because they're disposable and I try really, I, I really don't like disposable products. So I try to use my fountain pen inks, but when I want to run somewhere and I don't want to worry about any ink leaking anywhere or anything like that, then um, I, I'm grabbing these Micron Pigma pens. I'm going to put a couple of those in here and there's room for more pens and so I'm going to use a couple of these. These really are not my favorite but I know a lot of people really like these Signo pens. I love these when they're brand new and then about two weeks to a month later I really don't like them anymore because they seem to not work and I know they say you can rub them on your finger and yeah um, I, I won't be buying any more of these because they're just to me they're just okay. All right, so I'm gonna zip that up and then, and those fit nicely. The, um, so these are a little shorter pens. Most of the pens that I have would be longer, but these, anything shorter is gonna fit in this pocket just fine. And then, yeah, I'll have it all zipped up nice. Okay, I think next I'm gonna go with I have this Galen Leather, I think it's Galen or Leather. This is the first product I've tried from them. It is really nice. I like that you can zip it. I like that my, I really like that I can keep my um, Stayology here, the A5. I use this as a, I'm not gonna get into which pens are my favorite right now because that would be a whole nother video. Um, I do love many of these, but I really couldn't Feel like I could recommend them because they all kind of have caveats so please don't buy pens based on the, this video <laughs> just go buy a Twisby if you want to find a fountain pen I'll link that below I've shared that before that's a safe one to start with and but I do love my fountain pens and I love trying them I love putting different inks in them um, I love discovering which inks never dry, like gorgeous Jack Frost. I love it, but it doesn't seem to ever dry, and so it makes a mess. So this, I, I love this notebook, this Dialogy, and because it's great for keeping track of my inks and also using for a gratitude journal. And so that's what I use this for. The thing I do not like about this is I feel like I need a notebook that's only half the length because you can see it got marked up if you want to zip it. So I find, if, uh, I find I wish I could get one a little thicker so I could actually um, close it without it um, leaving marks on my notebook, but I'm probably just super picky. So, but I really did like the quality and, uh, but see when it's all closed, it does zip, but it kind of uh, is a little wonky depending on those, how big your pens are. So, but I like to keep this because I always like to do a little bit of writing every day. And so I'm gonna put that right there. So for fountain pens, these, um, these are two pens I'm gonna have to put in there. I love my Twisbees. Twisbees are, I think, the best fountain pen to start with. Uh, they don't, you don't need any accessories. You don't need any cartridges. You simply um, twist this little, uh, draw some ink up, 
and they're inexpensive and they write love. Um, this one sadly is out of stock, so sorry. Uh, it's my favorite, it's the turquoise, but it's no longer available, I'm so sorry. This one is available. You can get this at Goulet Pens or maybe even Amazon now, I'm not sure. Um, but they do have limited edition colors. So that's why, and I, I, I think I've completed my collection because I just needed one of all the rainbow of colors. <laughs> so, but these are definitely my, uh, the favorite pen I like to recommend for people who wanted to, to try fountain pens. And um, I don't like that they have the red that doesn't match, but other than that, I think they're a perfect pen for the money. I have still have my traveler's notebook. This is still the Chic Sparrow that I I think I got this in like 2018 when it was super popular. I don't think it's available anymore. It's it's the one um, it's butter rum. It's the Mr. Darcy and butter rum, and I love the gorgeous color. Um, it does get marked up, so I been keeping this little charm to kind of covered where it's marked so it doesn't drive me crazy. I tend to keep, I want to keep everything looking nice for as long as I can. But um, also I love that it shows that I've used it. So, but this is my favorite Travels Notebook. I've actually never got another one because I like this one so much. And this, so this is the pen I draw with with the most. This is a Sailor. Do not buy a Sailor. <laughs> I have to make a whole video about that. Um, I, Sailor is my least favorite brand, uh, but this pen actually works really well because of the ink I use and it gets clogged a lot. Um, it's an extra fine nib, which can be scratchy, but I really do love this for drawing. But like I said, please don't buy a fountain pen based on this video because you need to do your research because fountain pens are a whole nother, um, they call it a rabbit hole because you really can get addicted. And I don't really enjoy the sailors very much. And so I wouldn't recommend getting one, but lo and behold, this one is the only one I do like and I really enjoy it for drawing. I'm going to keep this uh, little gray uh, Arteza. This is the gray toned paper. I really love the size of this. It's a five and a half by eight and a half. Um, I've been keeping my little <laughs> I've been jotting down little notes about when I try different, uh, these are pastel pencils and um, I, I made a little B really quick, but um, the pastel pencils, it they rub off and so you have to be careful. But I do love gray toned paper for colored pencil and everything work. This paper I find is, it's almost as good as a Strathmore and so it's great for what I'm using it for, which is basically jotting down and using as scraps to test different products and see the opaqueness and things like that. I'm not going to do it for like artwork. It's just for, it's just for fun. And being that it's so affordable, I'm able to just play around and not worry about if I'm wasting expensive paper. So that's exactly what I use this for. And for sketchbooks for watercolors, oh, sketchbooks. I have a love-hate relationship with sketchbooks because I've tried many. I can't find one that I absolutely adore. I can find ones that are okay. They're okay for um, trying different colors, for swatching, for uh, mixing different colors, kind of doing like a study group, but I can't ever create any wow pages. Um, I can't really do layers and layers and layers like I like and have it turn out the way I like. But if I had to pick my top two, it would be this Hanamule, I believe it's called. I kept this. I, I like this enough to order a second one and as well as the Etcher. I just ordered a second one of this. Uh, the first one, the first one I did, it actually kind of um, fell apart a little. And so I don't know if I wasn't careful enough. I don't think I'm very rough. If I had to pick a sketchbook, this would probably be my favorite, but it's still not gonna be like using arches. You can't do just tons of layers and tons of washes and everything. I'm gonna put these two sketchbooks in there. All right, here I have a little Kipling uh, colored pencil case. I think I've shared this with you guys. These cases are, I love that they're small. And I love that they call it, look at this gorgeous color. I think this was called purple. Has a little ape, so they have some detail that's really cool. 
They are not the most practical bag because uh, they, own, they don't have enough elastics to put everything individually. But these are the favorite uh, color pencils I'm using that I'm going to keep with me all the time. Uh, so I have my, of course, my Caran d'Ache Luminance. This is the portrait set that I like, I love, love, love. Uh, and then as well as the uh, Derwent Light Fast. I love, love, love those. And I mix them together. And I pretty much am using mostly Derwent as well as Luminance for coloring. And then I go in with my either the polychromos or my Holbein that I love as well for fine detail. If you are just using, you have to use good paper with the Holbein, I'll warn you though, if you just wanna use, like if you're a crafter and you just wanna use Nina cardstock, I don't think you'll like Holbein because it kind of looks shiny. Color, I use hot press watercolor paper and I love my Holbeins. But I think if, if you are a crafter and you wanna use them to use for coloring books or um, just make it on cards and you're going to use Nina solar white cardstock they're going to be shiny and I don't think you're going to like them so I don't know if I would tell you to uh, spend the money but I myself I love them especially this amethyst color that's a color the one I would tell everyone to get is <laughs> this the soft white it is a different it's a different pencil it's a whole nother beast it is the whitest white. I will show you right here. I took all of the rest of them out. Look at this. Um, it is the whitest white there's ever been in a pencil. It's the most opaque. It beats Derwent. It beats uh, the Luminance, which used to be my old favorite. And it is made out of something different. It's kind of difficult to sharpen because of the whatever they put in here. It doesn't have a casing. You can see with the whole bind, most of them have a casing around the whole thing. I love it. I freaking love it. I wish I could get all the colors and whatever this is made out of. It's weird, but I love it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Their normal pencils are made out of a combination of oil, wax, and fat. I'm guessing some kind of animal fat. Uh, so maybe they put more fat in this. I don't know, but it reminds me of what I think I would be using if I'm using, if it was like oil pastels, but they don't smear. Does that make sense? I don't know. They're opaque. They're really weird. I can't explain it, but I, I love them. So, uh, but yeah, you have to have that one. And they have another white. That's not the one. This one is 501. It's the soft white. So yeah, got it. So I have to keep it here and I have a whole stash of them because I love them. Can't be without them. So, but I always like to do different color combinations and yeah. So this little bag is not the most um, organized or practical, but I love the size and I love the color and it's been very durable. I got it on Amazon. If I am telling you a favorite that is the uh, that's not going to fit in that caddy that I use all the time, uh, it's going to be this little cutie. Look at this cutie. This is a I don't remember the name of it, but this is my favorite brand of pencil case. It's I I think I shared it in another video, but I don't know if I've. So this one has zippers on. It has a zipper pocket in the back but I don't ever, you could keep like your swatch chart or something back here if you want to. And then on the front, it has a Velcro pocket. Again, I would keep the swatch chart here myself because I wouldn't want to mess with the zipper, but it has um, two zippers. So you go around. This is what, um, this is what I'm keeping all of my Holbein colored pencils. I love that it has the separate pages and it makes it so easy. You can keep two or three uh, pencils. You might be able to put four, but I, I really prefer to keep two or three. And yeah, it just, it makes it so easy to just push these and get these out. And I finally took all of my Holbein, the whole set in the box out so I can use them more because I find when they're in the boxes, they're so pretty and organized that I, 
I neglect them. <laughs> so I got them in this little case, so now I can use them all I want, and I can uh, take this whole bag with me. Um, I love, I don't actually zip these up all the time. Many times on my shelf, they're sitting unzipped because I grab them all the time. <laughs> but these are easy to get in and out of, and I also keep a little, um, I don't label them because I tend to know which pencils they are, but I do keep these little, what are these, little cases. These I had gotten for my kids last year for Christmas. They're meant to hold earbuds. They weren't using them, and so I took them, and I knew I could make a use for them. <laughs> so I'm keeping my pencil sharpener inside of there. These aren't big enough to hold full sets to me. These are great for just taking a few of my favorite colors. And this case is the one I love for having the whole entire set, which I have full set syndrome, so I have to try all the colors and then see which are my favorite colors. So, uh, but I love the little mice and the little pumpkins and it's perfect for fall. And I'm hoping I don't turn into one of those that have to use a new pencil case for each season, but I can surely see myself going to the dark side. Next, this is another case. I think I shared this one in a haul video with you guys. I had actually ordered um, a few of the different Kipling cases because I found a really good sale on them and they have such beautiful colors. So um, they all have, some of them have different, uh, different monkeys, stuff like that. And this one, I like this one because not only is it my favorite turquoise color, it's like glittered background. So this is what I'm keeping in this case. I'm keeping my Arteza watercolors. So I have just my favorite colors. I don't have the whole set. I just have some of my favorite colors and can grab more, but these are the ones I use the most. And for these, um, are these, yeah, these are the watercolor pencils. And these are not as good as the Faber Castells. These are like, um, these are student grade watercolor pencils. But what I use them for, I use them for tr for drawing, and then I'm gonna go watercolor so then I don't have any pencil lines, and generally just playing around. And so for that purpose, they are perfectly good. And I don't um, have to worry about using my expensive Faber-Castells. The price has been <laughs> insane. Okay, also in here, I keep a little microfiber cloth because whenever I'm doing any anything with water or ink or watercolors, whatever, I need that. I have to have a microfiber cloth. <laughs> oh, watercolors. Okay, so when I saw this, I thought this is gonna be perfect because I am one of those, I am still very much in love with trying all the different brands, all the different colors, and then what I tend to do, I try, I try to get as big of a set as I can for the, for the money. And then I like to test all the colors and then make my own palette and find the colors that I like. And usually for colors to stay in my palette, I need them to be really pretty by themselves. And I'm totally okay with convenience colors, but I also need them to be good mixers. And so this is the palette that I set up in 2019. I have, this is not my only Schmincke palette. I have other Schmincke palettes as well. I love this one for the color. And this actually was my least messy palette, so that's why I grabbed it. But I, I really need to switch the Brilliant Rose and Vermilion Light. I've never touched them, I don't think, since the day I put them in here, it looks like. And I need to put like a Potter's Pink and um, I don't know what other color off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm always going to have a Schmincke palette with me because I love Schmincke watercolors. So that, that one's gonna go perfect right there. I love that this bag will protect it because I love this, while this is my favorite palette because it's so beautiful, it's also very precious to me. I wouldn't want it to get scratched or damaged. So that's gonna protect it perfectly. I will be, some of my Sennelier watercolors and these I've got this loaded up I've mostly squeezed tubes into pans shrivels up and it looks gross but there's just Sennelier paints just have that luminosity that I love um, I do keep <laughs> some of those little silicone packs in here just because I'm in Florida now and I'm, I'm too afraid of anything happening haven't had anything weird happen 
but um, yeah, I love, love, love my Sennelier watercolors. I'm really not trying to put these in order, but I think I am giving away my order so far. <laughs> so this next would be my watercolors. I'm still trying to pick out which are my favorite, favorite colors. And I'm still, yeah, I'm still playing with these. I really love their, I believe it's turquoise. Um, I really like their granulating colors and they're a lot of fun and they're convenient mixes, but really you can just get their version of the PBK 11, I believe it is. Let's see if I have it oxide. Is it oxide black? Yeah. You really could just get the oxide black and mix it with any of your colors first, but I, I'm a fan of convenient mixes because I'm a busy mom. I don't always have time to mix. Mixing is like fun for me, but I have no problem with um, convenient mixes myself. So I'm still working on which are my favorite mixes, but I'm just enjoying the brand and trying all their colors to find my favorites right now. Uh, but yeah, that would definitely be one of my must-have palettes right now. This is my Roman Schmal palette that I just put together. I uh, have them, I have another in this larger palette, and I'm just getting these uh, cheap, uh, like, I guess they're like knockoff paints from different brands on Amazon. I shared that in another video, I think. Um, but you can't beat $18 for a large palette to hold all of these Roman Schmal paints. And uh, yeah, so I've been kind of mixing, um, this color chart isn't accurate anymore because I did some switching around, but um, yeah, I love switching around and trying out different Roman Schmal paints and finding my favorites and then putting them in a smaller tin so I can do more mixing and that kind of thing. Um, kind of, you know, it just gives you the more, the less colors you have, the more mixing and that kind of thing you'll do. So I love doing that. Um, there's so many colors in here I really love, like the Cobalt Teal, um, Quinacridone Violet, the Potter's Pink. Potter's Pink is, to me, is not as good as Schmincke's, but it's better than Daniel Smith's because it's easier to rewet for me personally. I love the Azza Red, I love the Mineral Violet. Um, yeah, I love, a lot of these colors, but um, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I really, oh, and this hematite, uh, I love this hematite violet, I violet, uh, love it. So I've just been playing with these a bit and I can't wait to play with them more here. So sadly, this is one of my regrets. It's from Roman Schmall and it comes in this really pretty wooden box, which I am a huge fan of wooden boxes. But when I added this to my wish list, I was just so excited about it and I didn't read all the details. My husband then went to look at my wish list, which, which he always often does to, and he purchased this. And I think this was, um, it was very expensive. And um, I did not realize that these inserts were plastic. And so like this one, it, it just falls out all the time. Um, so I'm going to have to take some like tape glue, which is tacky to me, but I'm going to have to like take some, um, tape and pay it down, but I don't really like to, I thought this was, um, ceramic. I just assumed it was ceramic since it was, I mean, I, it's completely my fault for not reading it before I added it to my wish list, but I, I'm not a fan of mixing on plastic. Um, and these are plastic as well. And I just am showing this because I want to warn you guys, don't get impatient like I did. Some of these can be hard to remove if you like to um, change out your palettes a lot, then I don't recommend this because these can, if you're going to paint in this, then it's, it's beautiful and gorgeous. I like to switch my paints out all the time. And I wasn't careful and it's completely my fault, but I was trying to get some of these out and then a few of the places they, it cracked. <laughs> So, um, once I'll probably, and this doesn't seem to want to come out like the other thing. So, but I love, love, love the paints. I can't speak highly enough for the paints, but just be careful if don't be impatient trying to get those out. If you are trying to switch up your colors. So I'll warn you about that. Also have to put some white nights in there. I love my white nights. 
I love this little case. I believe this is the lilac case. And um, I, I love this one as well. But this one is larger, so it's going to stay in my studio. It's just this, the beginning of this year. But these are all light fast colors now. So, so they've changed some of the formulations apparently. And so they're all light fast. So um, this was around $70 when I purchased it. I'm not sure the price now. But love, love, love this set and then so this I believe they're calling blue and this is what they're calling lilac and I love them both but mostly I love having um, a nice little palette and this and, th and these weren't very much uh, that has the white knight's name and I was able to pick uh, 12 of my favorite uh, colors and yeah it's gonna be make it super portable gonna love having this little this little guy right in the bag palette van gogh is a student grade of the rembrandt paints and they're really if you need a paint to start with just like the white knights uh, van gogh is a great brand i think to start with if you don't have any yet this is a special set that i got at the beginning of this year and i had to get it on amazon germany don't really know if it's available and if it's not available anymore i'm so so sorry but i had to share it with you guys in case you're like me I love this pink. I love it. I love it so much. So I, I fully bought this thinking I was going to change out my colors, but I wanted to share it first the real way it comes in case you guys are able to grab it off Amazon Germany. Um, but just like all of their other palettes, I did have to pay, I think, I want to say with tax and shipping, I think it was $38, which that's expensive. It should be about $20. 20 to 25 for any of their other palettes but this had metallic it's pink and I just I love it so it was worth it to me all of their uh, little travel sets come with a little synthetic brush it's a size six um, I really don't I really don't use the brushes but they're handy to have in there if you need it and what I do love about it is they have this little end and they are for popping out the mixing tray. I usually just keep a color chart back there to be honest. I just use these mixing wells. Um, but they also are great for popping out the pans. So when these are empty you can put in a Rembrandt or whatever or refill it whatever you want to do. The one thing I do want to warn you guys that's been a little bit frustrating for me with Van Gogh and Rembrandt both I think is they have their own size pan so you can't go to Jackson's and get their half pans and um, buy the tubes and fill your own pans. <laughs> and so far in the US, I'm not able to find a source that I can buy them. That's a little frustrating, but other than that, it's a great brand. I love the paints. I love that uh, this is by Fran, the artist Fran Hall, I think is her name, or Hole. She's a German, um, I think more like hand lettering and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I love that she included two metallics with this color. And now I will just put some of my favorite colors in here. And then I uh, absolutely love using this gorgeous pink palette. I love it so much. I wish they'd make an aqua. And honestly, I wish they would, I wish they would finish this. It's like they didn't, they got so close. It's so smooth and satisfying and then like what happened they didn't finish <laughs> but I don't know if there's a reason but it's not as comfortable on the bottom as it would be if they would um, finish that but that's okay I love the pink I love that they're pretty I love that they're great to take and play with and really really good student grade brand and next is the one I I I really regret waiting to get this this is their um, I think they call it metallic and paints I waited to get these because they're the student grade so I assumed they wouldn't be that great I love them more than the white knights metallics uh, I, I I think they're better so this is what they look like all swatched out on white paper so these colors, the interference colors, not so great on white paper, but look at them on black paper. Look at that. This, I think I wanted to say I paid about $37 for this as well. 
And honestly, I had purchased these. Um, I think I purchased these first. And it made me regret, almost regret getting these. Now they're gorgeous, I love them. But this set was like $90. It was so expensive. It comes with a real brush. So this comes with a uh, Pure Sable uh, number size four brush. Um, but the whole reason, it's, it's really nice that they include it, but I honestly, I never use their, that's a size four. And so that's way, <laughs> I, I need at least a size eight. <laughs> I just can't use those small ones. But if you would see, um, again, on white paper, most of those colors don't show up very well. They're lovely on the black paper. If I'm being honest, there's not a whole lot of difference. So I would have definitely got the student grade first and loved those. And then afterwards picked up a few of these specialty colors, which I love, don't get me wrong. They're special effects. But for as often as I use them, and while I love them, they're gorgeous, that's almost what I paid for their 48 count, which I love. So yeah, if I had it to do over, I would have just stuck with a Van Gogh student grade first. And yeah, <laughs> this is almost like so precious that I don't use them. So, <laughs> and they're gorgeous uh, and I need to use them more, but I use them for accents like my fine tech and so I don't think I use them enough and so it makes me feel guilty that I spent the money and so I'm keep those under there but um so yeah love 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 this and I can use it all the time not worry about wasting or anything I thought it was going to come in a black case my case is a dark midnight blue which I absolutely love because it's much prettier than a plain boring black. So I love these two palettes. Next I'm putting in some a little tin of Pablo pencils. These are these are not a favorite yet. I don't know what's wrong with me. I I love so many colored pencils and I have these in here to play with them finally. I I use these once and I I didn't get the hype. I didn't um I don't know I love Karen Dosh almost all of their products. But the Pablo's for some reason, I don't know if I just didn't use the right paper or what. So I have never bought any more. I've started with this and that's why I do recommend everybody start with the smaller sets because you may not get on with them. So, <laughs> um, so I'm putting this in the bag to make myself use them on different paper and see what I missed or what, or if they're just not for me. My whole buying colored pencils. This is a small little set of pastels that I had ordered. First set that I ordered and before I ordered the full set. And I really do, I really love them. I love the pastels. Again, they're so expensive. I don't know if I recommend them for crafters unless it's like Saturday splurge day. But uh, uh, I love them and I love having this little uh, 12 count set so I can just take it uh, when I just need the pastels. Next, I have my 10 Neo Color Metallics. Um, I like these. They're a lot of fun for water resist, but I find myself, um, and I do, I have the, this is a little set that of the colors I will probably use the most. I do have the full set that's larger that I keep in my studio, but I love this little set mostly for the gold <laughs> and the turquoise, but I love having this little set to take around the house with me. So maybe I will use these a bit more because honestly right now I'm not using these near enough. Now this set I love. This is a cute little set and they have this on Amazon. It won't have this case. It'll be a plain red case, but they do sell this. I did not like any of the other accessories that I that came with this. I didn't like um, I have not used this a ton, but from my first impressions, I actually like the Arteza water brushes much more. I don't know if it's because I've been using them, so I'm used to them, or, but I was expecting, since this is from Karen Dosh, I was expecting it to blow my socks off, and it did not at all. <laughs> 
So I, I love this case and since I couldn't get that case anywhere else, I'm still glad I purchased that kit. But honestly, if, if I'd say nine out of 10 of you just get this on Amazon for the more affordable price without the little extras that came in the kit. So I love, yes, so yeah, I love these Arteza uh, brush pens. I've had them for years and I'm still going great. I love that you can push and get more water when you need it. I haven't had any problems with leaking and I've just used them. I use them all, I use them almost every day. So I really need to get more just in case. So definitely gonna slip these in one of my pockets. Uh, during 2020, I tried a lot of Sennelier products thanks to their YouTube channel. And these were their ink brushes, which I haven't heard anything about. But I think these are a lot of fun. I don't know if you're a professional artist, if you're going to love them, because I think they're more than gear for your hand letters and crafters. But I find them a lot of fun. They have some great colors. And um, yeah, I think I did a video and I never edited it. but. <laughs> But these are a lot of fun to use on like travel notebooks. They're a lot of fun for just sketching. They're very vibrant and they come up, they actually have a lot of ink. Um, so you have to use these with a microfiber cloth because sometimes when you take the lid off, they will uh, leak a bit. I haven't had any problems with leaking. Um, until I take the cap off and maybe that's because I'm a little too generous with my squeezing. I might, I love these. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. The only thing I would say is I wish that Sennelier would have come up with, would have given us the, some of my favorite colors from their watercolor line. These are based off the student grade Sennelier watercolors and I want them to make the colors from their, <laughs> from their professional line of watercolors. So, but the, they are a lot of fun and especially if you just love coloring like with real brush markers and that kind of thing, then you might really enjoy these. So definitely putting a couple of these in my bag. Little sheets of paper, this um, I've stamped already so it's ready to go. I have some little um, drawings that I did and I like to have them just ready to go and then um, have them in a side pocket. I'm going to have this Aquarell cotton paper this is not my favorite favorite paper. Arches is my favorite, but this is a pretty good one and I love that it's already cut down for me. Uh, while I love using stamps, one of my goals is to draw more. It's just a time thing. I feel like I don't have time and, um, and I can be critical of myself. So that's why sometimes I do lean a lot on using stamps because I just wanna get, just like cooking, I don't necessarily love to cook. I just love to eat good food. But um, so I feel like stamps gets me there faster to do what I love, which is color or watercolor. So, but I do uh, want to draw more. And so having these pre-cut papers on this block, um, having it handy, hopefully will get me to take more time to draw. So that is going to go perfect in one of these little pockets. And these are some of my favorite drawing pencils. I do love the Derwent drawing pencils. I love that I can color, which uh, I, I bought the black, but black is what I use the least. I actually love drawing with this uh, sanguine color and this uh, wheat because it's just dark enough you can see it, but then I'm not gonna have pencil lines later. Um, Many of you love this graphite Faber-Castell and I haven't grown to love this one yet. Uh, it seems to always dissolve and it tints my paper gray. I don't know if I do, if I'm, maybe I'm drawing too dark, but yeah, I don't really like that. And many people recommend this Derwent drawing white and I'm still liking the Holbein better, but I'm gonna try to use this more and see what I'm missing because everyone swears by it. So, but I do especially love the two colors, the wheat and the sanguine. I Sanguine, I think is what it's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, these two I absolutely love. Also one of my favorite products this year, uh, and this is more recent purchase, this is a little brass ruler. I got this in a little set. I got this in a set of 
three, and I want to say this was like ten dollars. And these are really nice. These are very good quality for the price. They were about ten dollars. I use this little ruler all the time. So that I'm definitely keeping in my bag with me. These are useful, but I'll just use them in my studio. I don't need to take them with me everywhere. One of the regrets I have is the silver is the circular thing. I don't even have it anymore because I had to throw it away. I'll try to insert a picture. Um, do not buy that. It doesn't even make the um, lines straight. Um, it, was, it was awful. Yeah, it was awful. I had put, I had, somebody had put that they didn't like theirs and so it made me check sooner so I could notate. I always check the my description box because if I try something and I hate it, then I will write that I don't recommend it. So always check the description box because, um, yeah, like bee paper. I loved bee paper for so many, for like a year. And then I don't know what happened. It went out of stock and came back. And now I don't know if they ruined it or if I just fell out of love with it, but I can't recommend it anymore. It, it's like, I think they did something to it. I'm also going to put a few stamps in my, um, bag because I have room. I have room for a Misty and I, I've had a few of you guys ask why, if I can draw, I still use stamps. And it's because for one thing, I'm a busy mom. I don't always have time to draw. I loved drawing when I was a child, but because I didn't have any markers or colored pencils, I didn't have anything. So all I could do is draw with a pencil. But now that I have so many art supplies, I much prefer the coloring over the drawing. And honestly, I'm when I drew, you know, if I can stamp this flower and I can enjoy the coloring, that's the part I enjoy the most. And I'm not gonna nitpick whoever, I'm not gonna nitpick this person's flower like I'm gonna nitpick the flower I drew, if that makes sense. So sometimes it's it's that. So I have some stamps from Gina K that I need to use, uh, from Waffle Flower. Um, all of these I purchased last year and I never use them. So I'm, I'm putting them in my bag to make sure that I use them. And this one, I had to share this one. This is hands down my favorite stamp set. Ever. I use this the most out of any of my other stamps, of course, because I love swatching. Um, so I'll take these both out and let you know what's in here. It comes with a stamp set and a die set. So, of course, sometimes I will use the stamp and I will stamp it to swatch my watercolors. Um, I will use this one as well, especially for my fine text. I love using this. I love stamping in white on black paper and as well as um, using my... Uh, Gina K Amalgam Ink and my favorite is the Whisper and uh, it gives me a little line and keeps me in the lines and make my nice little swatches like I like to use them but what I also love is I love these dies because I finally figured out you can just put them upside down and use them as a stencil so I love to actually put them down and use them upside down. Just go along and, you know, put them all in. And then I can have my nice little swatch chart. I didn't have to do any measuring or, you know, it's just quicker and easier. And then I can get the nice little squares like I want them. And um, for every brand, for all the colors that I like to collect. So I have a nice visual on one sheet of paper of the brand but uh yeah <laughs> till i get more this is all my colors except for a graduating black the pbk 11 from roman schmall so love that and so uh yeah love 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 i use this the most but um this one uh this one works really well as well um i've looked for stencils i've looked for other stencils and they have stencils, but they're like different sizes. They go down in order. I want them all to be the same. So um, I still stamp every now and then, but honestly, most of the time, <laughs> I'm using this to make my swatches. So I know a few of you have asked. So love, love, love the set from Waffle Flower. I'll have this link below. 
And lastly, I have some little clips and I'm just gonna use these to decorate. These are meant for planners, but I use them for different things. But of course, I love foxes and I love bees. So I had to get these. This is from an Etsy shop. I'll link her shop below. Um, let me know if you like this. I plan on doing more videos, sharing some of my favorites and some of my regrets uh, because, you know, we gotta help each other out. <laughs> we gotta help each other save money. And But I do, I especially love knowing your favorites. And so feel free to leave me a comment and tell me your favorite product you that you purchased last year. Uh, I'm going to put these little guys in my organizer to give it a little more personality. So this is really big and really full and I love that I can pack so much into it. I have overpacked it so I'm going to have to adjust it. I'm going to have to take a few things out but this actually might be a case where I might just put it on a lazy Susan in my craft room. <laughs> Wish I had a little bit smaller one so I would uh, not, not be tempted to overpack. But I think I'm going to have a lot of fun using this. Thank you to Mimo Caddy for sending me this to try out. And I'll be testing it out and letting, giving them my feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.